What's up guys, Mystic Fire here to bring you Black Clover chapter 170. Title The Fallen Person Comes Alive. Now when I first you know when I first saw the, the title of the chapter I thought, you know what? Fogalone is coming back to fight in the uh to find the battlefront, you know, because of the um because the Clover Kingdom, it's getting destroyed by the elves, but no, it was a. It, I don't think it was a misleading title because Fallen Purse, Fallen, Fallen Comrade, well, not Comrades, Fallen People do came alive. And those two Fallen People being um, Weldred, which is the ex captain of the Buffalo Orcas, and um, I think you say. Real, uh, Repchi or so, something like that. I, I mean, I don't know. I, I, I can't say his name for that guy for the year life of me. But yeah, he's that guy from Chapter One of Black Clover. You know, the guy that Asta defeated like it was nothing because he was. Uh, you know, he he was. Uh, he was. Let me see. Exiled from the Clover Kingdom. There you go. He was exiled from the. Um. Uh, Magic knights and everything. So, uh, the chapter begins basically with Soul um, making a hole for Jamie's black um, for Jamie's defensive. Gosh darn it! I forgot. I forgot what was the the name of the ex spell and everything. It wasn't that defensive, uh, defensive spell that he did in the when he was fighting against Licht in the cave. And now Soul has that. She has basically buried that away from the battlefield. Uh, because Yami said that it's important, so she just basically bury it and everything. Uh, and that's it. Then, then we're going to see the outcome of the fight between Yami and Elf Charlotte, and ev uh, everything that Yami did was only cut the protector from Charlotte's wrist here with the uh, dimensions lash, as well as cutting off her spear. So. And we also see like the destruction that happened and everything. We have we don't see Yami anywhere at all. I think he's he's in the rabble, basically. So um and that's that. Right, but then then here's the Charlotte uh, or elf Charlotte or the Char or the elf that is in Charlotte seems to be really important as a character. That doesn't mean that every other elf is not important as a character. It's just like that she's you know She's really like some somebody else, so there's something big planned for this. Um, and I like and I like what she says too. She says, "Our attacks is now considering the size of magic power. Mine was overwhelmingly greater, right? Even so, his magic bisected my magic energy to protect his weakened this weakened city. The leftover power even managed to reach me through. It may have only hit my gauntlet." Which is what it did, right? To be able to overturn the outcome of battles, regardless of the difference in, ma in magic quality, are humans capable of learning such a thing? See, so they're still doubting the humans as of right now. But Charles, you know, Charlotte or Elf Charlotte is, you know, she's thinking about everything. She's been tormenting and everything. So I have to make sure the two are nowhere to be seen. She's basically referring to. Uh, Owen and uh, Marks, you know, because they're still knocked out. And Charlie has them in, in her briar magic or her roses. It seems we have taken the humans too lightly. See, so see, so now we find it, we've started to finally see a lot more character for the elves than just, oh, we must kill the humans, kill the humans, kill the humans, you know. So now we're seeing a lot more than that. I used up more magic power than I thought. I should... Take this too and retreat. She's thinking about retreating. Then I will make sure this is dealt with accordingly. Uh, so it seems that we haven't have taken we haven't been taking the humans too lightly. Then I will make sure this dealt with accordingly. So that's after she says that, but she's also thinking of retreating with Owen and Marks in their hand. And again, this is not a live reaction because we already read the chapter. Although I should be able, I should start to do live reactions. You know, I feel like that would be a lot better since I'm going to do it like this or not. Because I have the chapter right here. So, let me see. It appears the Licked and the others are headed this way as well. Yes. So, the story in this chapter, uh, it didn't advance a lot. You know, but it advanced a bit. Because now we, we, we see now that uh, 
Licht is advan is basically reaching the capital. It's about to reach the capital, so it advanced that a bit in in that sense. It really is because see, and now we see Sol. She's she has come back to the battlefield. She has her golem, and she sees all the destruction that Charlie and Yami caused, and she's worried about Captain Yami. Uh, she says the Black Bull's captain. He can be. And then he comes out. Uh, he comes out the same way he uh, he and Asta came out when they were fighting Licht in the cave or Patry in the cave. Let's just say Patry because that's his name. When they were fighting Patry in the cave, so Yami just came out the same way. So he's basically being be, he's basically being out the Asta right now. <laughs> Hold your horses, you bastard! I haven't lost to you yet. That's what Yami said. I thought I was gonna die. I'll definitely snap you out, Queen Thorny. He's alive. Thank goodness, I guess. So. As of right now, it seems that Sol is gonna stick with Yami and they're gonna go rescue the citizens. Uh so uh Dark Lady, why you come back? What happened to the thing I had I had you do? I hid it in a safe place and then came here. Really? You think that we believe that okay. So in a way, I like what Yami is doing here too. Because if you think about it, William is basically the heart of the rest of the magic knights. So if the other magic knights see that Julius himself is dead or he, that he was killed, they're going to lose their will to fight. And so what Jami did is really smart, actually, in, in giving her, in giving uh, Julius in uh, the, uh, in the black ball to Sol and Chi basically bury it. Now, nobody's going to find out that until, until this conflict is resolved. So in that sense, he's basically keeping everybody, be, he basically, he's basically, Keeping everybody f away from finding out that Julius is dead in order to save the Clover Kingdom. See, and then Sol says, "As I, I can't say exist as I am now." So this is basically gonna go into the time skip. They might, this, this might go into the times, into the time skip route after this. We don't, we don't know. Look who's talking. I asked you to say exist. Who are you mouthing off to? What about me, huh? You're not worried about me. That being said. You can save her, even if you can fight. The other Magic Knight captains have got to be around, so let's go save all the citizens. You see, so like I said, Sol seems to be sticking with Yami right now. So in that sense, it's good because you're going to have a lot more screen time now. We're going to get learn more about her and that's what happened with her backstory. Because we, got a, we saw a, cl a glimpse of it last week, so... Then then we, we see the cap... We see the... Um, we basically get transitioned into the Magic Knight headquarters. Um, we see that it's also getting destroyed, but we go to the prison area. We go to the prison area, and we see the the two members of the Adam and I son, the Julius, yeah, the Julius capture, the Julius and Charming capture at the end of the on the invasion royal, on the invasion of the royal capital arc, and there they have been sacrificed as well. And it, that's ironic because they were, they were believe. I mean, the, the entire thing about the admin saying is ironic because Patrick just used them all, and now they're all dead, aside from uh, Raid, Sally, and Baltos. What's going on? What is this tremendous magic power from outside? I'm feeling. Moreover, to be able to break this magic ceiling prison. So this here is Wilder Poisaw. He is the ex captain of the Purple Orcas. He's basically he has been freed finally. Uh, at any rate, this is a one chance in a lifetime opportunity. Well, well, to think I find you here, and there it is. We finally see Reggie. It's been 170 chapters since we've seen him, and now we got him again. You know, we came back to see him again, and we also learned a bit more about uh, Reggie and uh, Will Poisa or Wilder Poisa relationship as and how the scar happened and everything to him. So, if it isn't that Purple Orca Captain Master Wilder, my, my, I didn't think you see, I will see you again, Sir Reggie. So, it's also important to know here that Wilder Poison, the ex-captain, says Sir, Sir Reggie, basically, he calls Reggie Senpai here, indicating Reggie is of a higher status. Now, I wonder how, why is he, why he is of a higher status? Is it because he is like a... I mean, I, I thought he's a royal because if he was royal, then he wouldn't be in prison even after what he did. And he wouldn't be a noble either. So that means that his rank would be higher than Walter Poisa uh, even after he became a captain. 
well, captain is like the higher rank that you can be uh, when it comes to uh, leading that squad. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, but we get to learn more about them. So, sorry, but I'm in a rush. Can we save the reminiscing for next time? That would be usually fine, but I can't let that slide, right? At any rate, it's been two years since my face was gravely injured after that little mess I got into with you while I was on duty. I was giving all the blame for the failure. That's why I chased after the Pope Lorca's ringleader, you see. See, so here, this, this kind of dialogue, he says, while well, he was on duty. Now, the one thing I find uh, weird about this is that he was a part of the Popular Orcus. And so, if you were part of the Popular Orcus, then why didn't you just kill the captain right then and there since you were on the squad? Because, I mean, that, that's what basically says on his profile that he was with the Popular Orcus. Well, you reap what you saw. You're hated by the other squad members too, you know. In reality, back then, you had no allies, right? That's uh, what the boys are talking to him. So he had basically had not like he was hated. Weren't you like that too? So now it's... See, so they were both the same. They were both hated by the squad members, basically. But it, it seems... It seems the... Poison wasn't the captain at, at the time. The Reggie was there too. He seemed, he seems like he was not the captain. He, got the, he was the captain after... So it, it might have been the Reggie was the captain first and then would you became the captain after it? So I, I, I think that should be explained a bit more in detail. If, Re, if Reggie was the captain before uh, Walter Poison was the captain. So let me see. Weren't you like that too? That's really why you, the captain of the Poop Lorcas, were thrown down here, right? I put myself as number one priority and kept myself away from dangerous missions. I aimed f for the top, but I was taken out by inf by my inferiors. He has nothing to do with you and your miserable self. See, so there we learn more about what your point said, that he basically is a coward when it came to fighting. Like, he didn't want to do anything. He just wanted to go to the top. You sure had it, had it hard, eh, Mr. Premiation Magic, when attacks can't even hit you? What kind of person seals up other magic? Your chain magic is deplorable. <laughs> See, so they, they, they basically have like a hate relationship right here. Because for one, uh, Reggie, Reggie's chain magic would be basically impossible to hit Walter Poison. And then if Reggie cuts, uh, cuts Walter, he wouldn't be able to use his magic either way. So in that sense, that's right. I'm the best, but bastards like that, annoying onto magic, bro, have got to go. So they have something in common. They have, no, have an interest. They have an interest in common right now, and that they wanna take Asta. They basically hate Asta. So they both they, they both stop there and say ha huh, because they have experienced the same thing through Asta basically. And then the person gets attacked by an elf. Now we, we don't know who who that elf is, but he seems like he was uh, a noble or some sort. Because of the way he is dressed. He, and saying he says humans discovered. I don't need my chains to understand that it creates a huge amount of magic power. Was this the guy that was going on a rampage outside? That's Reggie saying that because you know he's basically sweating right now because of the elf tremendous magic power. Is this an act of the item in his son? He might be guiding those rotten bastards. So it, it seems like World of Poison knew about William being, being connected to the item in his son, unless he's referring to somebody else as he, you know. So he must have been discovered. I shall now proceed to kill. That's, that, this is basically like another elf saying basically that he only, that only thing he wants to do is kill humans. So it seems like only important elves are the ones that have more personality than the others. Wait, I'm not your enemy. This is Walter Poisa trying to basically come into an agreement with the elf. Uh, depending on the conditions, I can lend you a hand. Let us speak to your leader. I will not let humans interf I will not let humans interfere any longer. I will kill you if you are human. Uh, I don't know what kind of magic he has, but the magic looks cool, I guess. I mean, I mean, it looks like it's some sort of like water creation magic. And he has, um, he has like point points. Uh, he has four balls. I don't, I don't know what kind of magic it is, but it, it looks like drills basically. 
There's no helping her, so Richie, who, I hate to say this, but you're right, Wildred. Premiation Magic, Invisible Scout, uh, plus Invisible Fellow Travelers. So they basically become invisible. Uh, Wildred basically makes uh, Richie invisible, basically. So it seems like they, yeah, so it seems like Richie was the captain before Poison because, you know, they seem, they seem to work so well together. They disappear, impossible. Their magic power disappear too. So this is the elf thinking about it. If that's the case, then I below this entire place, uh, chain creation magic, magic binding iron chain formation. So that's right, you know. So it seems like Reggie was last stronger than he was seemed to be in the chapter one. So it seems like he was seemed to be weak in chapter one, just just for Asa to defeat him, you know, and then come back to the story later. But yeah. My magic powers being sealed, even though my magic powers should be completely overwhelming. So you see, he basically his chain magic can seal any kind of magic power. How? What is this bastard's magic? Let's see if you can catch us from there. Can I finally see the sun again? I I think this is this was uh, I think this was Walter saying that, but I doubt it. I think he was Reggie saying, "Can I finally see the sun again?" Uh, yes, it will not end like this for me. Now I shall go restore my dignity. That's Walter Poisa saying that he's going to go restore his dignity. So he might help save the Clover Kingdom from the elves in, in this instant by attacking and capturing a lot of the elves. And now, after that, we transition into the Magic Knight Squad Crimson Lions headquarters, right? And we see that it's been attacked. All the members are getting destroyed by one elf. Uh, is, even as a group, is this all you amount to? Come on, humans. Enough, please stop this. These are the members saying, um, Vice Captain Randall. So they're fighting, they're fighting against the Vice Captain. The Vice Captain looks like he's a karate person, like he uses, he uses his, um, like he uses his, uh, his hands and his feet to fight because of the pose he is in right now. And he's, he's dressed like, uh, the Karate Kid's, uh, um, protagonist. I forgot the name of it. Yeah, but he's dressed like him. And I, I realize the pose is just like him. So I won't stop. Not until every last one of you drop dead. His magic power is in different league. We can stop him. So this is one of the members that was in the Royal Knights uh, tournament. I forgot his name. Uh, I wish I could remember all of the guys' name. But, you know. But, yeah. We won't break. This is Leopold saying this. We won't break. We were trained by the best captain ever. I am proud to call him my captain, the Crimson Lion King. And this is these are all the members surprised. Leopold seems to seems like he got it rougher because he's really bleeding from the head. I absolutely can't lose here. And this is Leopold's time to shine now. So I'm guessing that Fergalone is gonna wake up in the next chapter or so. Yeah, so I'm guessing Pergolone is going to wake up in the next chapter. Because I don't think Leopold is strong enough to fight against a vice captain anymore now that he's awakened. Even though he even though he is a royal. But we just got to wait and see what happens. Since he's a royal, he might get some more character development and gain more powers as he goes on. Uh, and then that's the end of it. The time once true values in question. And that's that. That's, that's, one chap that's chapter 170 of Black Clover. Uh, I really like it because, you know, we got to see characters from before, like from before chapter hundreds, you know, we got to see characters that people were forgetting about, like Reggie, people, people didn't know Reggie, like he, they thought, oh, is this the guy, is this the um, praying mantis leader and whatnot, so it's, it's one of those things where they, they confuse Reggie from chapter one, man, chapter one and episode one of the anime. As the Crimson, as the uh, praying mantis captain, because they have, they have, they have this similar bill and whatnot. Even though we haven't seen the other captains yet, yet, but it's good that we're focusing on uh, different characters instead of just Asta right now. So, and that that's yeah, that's basically it. Nothing, nothing bigger than that really happened, but more so now we have a lot more people in the story than you should. Like we have. Wilder Poisa and Reggie in there, you know, that they have a little as one of an alliance there. Then we we have Raids, Baltos, and Sally. They have an alliance with Asta, but they, they also came back for revenge. So in that sense, the story is getting a lot better and whatnot. So we just gotta wait and see how this arc is gonna end. But I really like it so far. Um it seems like a lot a lot is gonna go down in the arc. So 
Uh, you know, we just we just gotta we just now now we just gotta see Nussle and Noel as well as the rest of every other captain what they're doing, and and like I said, Patrick and Lick. Are you gonna see? I wanna see what Lick, what Lick and Patrick, what yeah, what Lick and Patrick um uh interactions are gonna be like because they look alike. So I just wanna see what is it gonna be said. You know, maybe we're gonna learn more about Lick here. You know, when they meet finally and what now. But yeah, that's all I have to say. Thank you so much for coming content. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. I really appreciate it. Leave a like or dislike. It's up to you. And I'll see you guys and gals tomorrow, hopefully, for Orient. Like I'm gonna, I, you know, I'm gonna do like basically like a whole catch up video where I might just live react to all all of, um all six, six, seven, or yeah, six or seven chapters. I might. I don't know. I just I just gotta wait and see how I'm gonna do that. But yeah, guys, thank you so much for coming content once again. Subscribe to the channel if you're new to it. And I'll see you guys and gals another time. Peace.